Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning. Time now is 717. We're in a pinpoint weather 12 alert for another heat advisory for today. Feels like temperatures well into the 90s to even low 100s in some cases for today. Looking at clouds and fog this morning, very warm and muggy and humid. And again, looking at hazy sunshine taking over for the afternoon hours. The first camera was uh, East Greenwich. Here's our heat advisory map. Does not include the immediate coastline from southeastern Connecticut into, of course, South County and parts of the East Bay. But notice interior sections, the best chance of seeing those feels like temperatures temperatures up to the triple digits in some cases. Temperatures now 70s in Providence, 78 there, 80 in Taunton and New Bedford. Again, very warm, very humid as well, which is why you have some fog in spots. Very low visibility from westerly out towards Newport and then out towards Block Island. Just over zero visibility there, about a quarter mile visibility over by Block Island. So again, that fog is in place this morning. It'll slowly lift as we go through the morning hours into the afternoon. Radar check is quiet. Not seeing any rain right now. Maybe a spot shower today. Most of the uh, rainfall stayed to the north across northern New England. So again, not seeing much in terms of wet weather for our forecast for your Saturday. My three key things that heat advisory, of course, in place. Shower chances increase, though, for Sunday, especially the second half of the day. And of course, all eyes on the tropics as we are expected to be seeing tropical storm Debbie form later on today uh, near Cuba and in the Gulf of Mexico. But muggy meter going forward next few days. Notice not much changing dew points in the 70s and the 60s all the way through the middle part of next week. So staying muggy and humid across southern New England satellite and radar showing our weather system that's going to be in place for tomorrow off to the west, slowly moving its way eastward. It'll give us some showers later tomorrow and into tomorrow evening. Some thunderstorms certainly possible as well for the second half of the weekend. But today, looking at clouds and fog giving way to some hazy sunshine through the uh, late morning, early afternoon hours. Hazy, hot and humid for this afternoon and evening, looking at temperatures well into the 80s. Again, some uh, temperatures near 90, but when you factor in that humidity, going to be feeling much hotter than that. Showers possible at night tonight, but overall looking at clouds and fog once again. And as we go into tomorrow, the first half of the day looks dry, looking at clouds and fog again for the morning hours. Maybe a little bit of sun peeking through. The afternoon brings the chance for some scattered showers and downpours, maybe even some rumbles of thunder in there as well. During the afternoon into the evening hours, another round later on by dinner time and at night as well uh, as we go into Sunday and into very early Monday. Bay forecast, again, visibility lower in spots because of the fog. Gusty winds as well, gusting as high as about 20 knots. And uh, keep in mind, visibility lower because of that fog out there. Beach forecast, not too bad either. Temperatures near 80. Safe sun index about 35 minutes. And notice the waves, three to five feet, moderate rip current risk. So be uh, careful if you're going to the beach later on today. Of course, always swim near those lifeguards. Now let's shift gears here and talk about the tropics. Again, we have tropical depression number four, which is expected to become tropical storm Debbie as we go through later on today, as it makes its way off of Cuba into the open uh, Gulf of Mexico here. It's moving, uh, gonna be moving up the uh, Gulf here on the western side of Florida. We have hurricane watches posted in parts of the coastline as well as tropical storm warnings in the orange here. This is for again, uh, potentially tropical storm Debbie as it makes its way uh, into Florida as a landfall uh, could be potentially a hurricane if it strengthens enough. And then it goes off the coast of the Carolinas for early next week. And this is the pivotal point where we watch the storm very closely. Does it move its way up the coastline or does it move its way more out to sea? That is, of course, still to be determined. We'll be watching that closely over the next several days. In my seven day forecast, we do have that watch in the tropics late next week for the uh, rain chances from that system. Again, it's just simply too far away to know if we'll see any impacts at this time, but plan for very muggy, humid air and uh, hot conditions for today and even into early next week. So guys, a busy forecast there in the seven day forecast. Of course, it's always on our website at WPRI.com. Very busy, very muggy out there today. Went oh, down yeah. to the beach yesterday. Mm -hmm. Also, that felt very muggy. You could see it in the air, how thick the, yeah. the air was yesterday. It's, we always say it's like the air you can wear. When you walk in the door, <laughs> it's like a wall of just like nasty, muggy, Ugh. humid, tropical air. It's Classic funny, too, because we're, we're going to we'll, co we'll complain about the heat, yeah, but then we're going to miss the heat next week. We're going to fall, and then it just keep going the next season. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're New, New Englanders. Englanders. We know how yeah. it works. So, you know, it's got to be perfect for us. But <laughs> thank you very much, Stephen. Look forward to another beautiful day. The Federal Trade